The Glide Armor is one of the best armor sets in Tears of the Kingdom, plus if you get the whole set and upgrade it, you will never have to worry about fall damage from skydiving ever again. Well today I'm going to show you how to get the Glide Armor, where each piece is, and also how to complete the trials, plus how to get the materials to upgrade so you can skydive without worry in the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Well, skydiving is one of the major selling points of Tears of the Kingdom and it is pretty seamless, jumping from a sky island down to Hyrule or even down into the depths from above. You can open up your paraglider to safely land on the ground, however, the new glide armor has a hidden bonus which removes full damage completely. Well, we'll get to that in a moment, but without further delay, let's check out how to get the glide armor. And first of all, the glide armor chest piece. Well, you can find the Glide shirt on Courage Island at the coordinates minus two, four, zero, 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 eight, two, four, zero, six, one, five. And that is a Sky Island northwest of the central Hyrule sky. So use Lingdor's Brow Skyview Tower to launch Link into the air, and then you can glide to the southwest Sky Island. Once you land on the island, have a chat with the construct and they'll let you know about the trial. So for each dive challenge, you have to do a trial run without a time limit, so that's a little bit of a practice. And then you complete each one in under 35 seconds, and you also have to pay the construct one Zonai charge per trial. Well, each challenge consists of jumping through rings, and you have to skydive through all the rings. So if you're having trouble, then try not to dive too quickly. And you can also use the paraglider to reposition yourself in the sky. And after a few practice runs, it becomes much, much easier and each time you take on a challenge, there's a shrine on the island, so do pick it up to get that fast travel point for the future. So once you complete the challenge, the construct will reward you the glide shirt, and the glide shirt has two defense, and you get a nice upgrade to your skydiving mobility. Well, next up, the glide armor legs. So you can find the glide tights on Bravery Island at the coordinates 0176 1988. 0758, and that is a sky island on the North Hyrule Sky Archipelago. So to get there, launch Link from the Thyflow Ruined Skyview Tower and paraglide south to the circle-shaped sky island. So this one is quite far away, so if you look on the map, it is the furthest circle sky island away from where you started, and you will likely need some extra stamina, so you can get that from an elixir or food cooked with stamella mushrooms. So once you've made it to the Sky Island, speak to the Construct and they will again tell you about the dive ceremony. So, so do the test run, pay the Zonai charge fee, take on the challenge and complete it in under 35 seconds. After a successful run, the Construct will give you the Glide Tights and again you've got two defense and a bonus to your skydiving mobility. Finally then, let's have a look at the Glide Armor headpiece. So you can find the Glide Mask on Valor Island at the coordinates 4459, minus 821, 1114, and that's a sky island that is south Lanaru Sky Archipelago. So to get there, use the Mount Lanaru Skyview Tower. You can get there easily this time just using the paraglider, and you're looking for a circular shaped sky island. By now, you should recognize the style and the shape, as all of the three dive challenges in the sky, those islands look the same. So once you make it to the island, speak to the construct again, do the test run, pay the charge, take on the challenge, and complete it in under 35 seconds. If you are successful, the construct will give you the glide mask, and congratulations, you now have the full set. Okay, next up, how to upgrade the armor. So to upgrade the armor, you need to have opened up the great fairy fountains, and by opening up all four, they were able to max out your armor, revealing the hidden bonus on the armor set. To upgrade all items twice, which you'll need to do to get the bonus, you need 24 key swings and 18 Aerokuda eyeballs. So keys can be found at night in Hyrule Field, and Aerokuda can be found in the mountain ranges or by the military training camp near the Minshi Woods. You can also find loads of Aerokuda in the Krenel Hills. Again, that is near the military training camp. Just want to look southwest. Also, you can find Aero Kuda on the way to the Wind Temple. I seem to remember seeing loads when I went out there with Tulin, although it can be a little bit trying to get them in the Sky Islands, because when you kill them, the eyeballs fall down to the sky, 
unless you shoot them specifically over a sky island, so it can be a little bit annoying. So I would recommend trying to get them on the Hyrule ground floor. Okay, next up, how to remove full damage forever. So now you've got all the necessary monster parts, you want to go to a great fairy fountain. And also, I've got a guide here for how to unlock them all. Then you want to upgrade all the pieces twice with the materials and some rupees. And the great fairy won't tell you, but if you inspect the armor on your armor screen, you'll see the bonus impact proof. Then when you dive from the sky, you'll be able to dive into the ground and you'll land safely every time without the need for the paraglider. Therefore, you will never need to worry about fall damage ever again from skydiving as long as you're wearing this armor. Well, let me know what you think about that glide armor. And that is it for this guide for how to get the glide armor in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Tears of the Kingdom content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, you can check out all the other Tears of the Kingdom content on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.